Ethereum has worked out marvelously on how to solve these problems of scaling and, um, and privacy and, and a number of other issues that, that needed to work, be worked out for public networks. You have uh, the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance that is the largest uh, organization of, of entities working on the, the uh, Ethereum protocol and making it, maturing it into um, something that industry can use. But at the same time, companies, uh, companies around the Hyperledger project, uh, the Fabric and uh, Aroha and Sawtooth and all these other protocol initiatives under the Linux Foundation and what they call the Hyperledger project, um, that uh, has led to a whole bunch of other breakthroughs around channels and contract segregation. So you might remember I was saying, um, you and I have an agreement um, and we need to all be in control, but not anyone being, having, having the control of the system. All right, well, that's fine. But if you and I have a confidential agreement, and nearly all business-to-business -business agreements are confidential. It says right on the contract, it says, not only is this contract confidential between you and me, the existence of it is, con is confidential. Most of the pharmaceutical industry operates on this, uh, you know, and the medical industry operate on this principle for good and bad. You know, you could say, well, we'd like some more transparency there, but we also don't want your medical records out in the clear, and we don't want um, the, the, the price that you're paying for, the fact that you're even paying for a particular drug to be out in the clear, right? Or that you're using a particular drug, right? That's not okay. So we need transparency for some things and opacity for other things, and getting that mix right is really hard, right? So we need things like channels and um, uh, uh, sharding and now in Ethereum, Plasma, and what we call layer two technologies that are coming out this year and next that really will transform our concept of blockchain.